Hey, I'm Scott Phillips, and this is another pod review. Today, I'm going to eat a homegrown ghost pepper. This is called a Naga Boot Jalokia, and uh, I grew this plant myself. This pod here is about five to six months old, and I picked this particular pod uh, off this plant because I had this particular plant isolated. I cut it open. I'm going to show it to you. This pod is 100% natural. I grew this pod on a plant that had absolutely no chemicals, no fertilizer, nothing, nothing. 100% all natural. And uh, I'm going to compare this to a bunch of other ghost peppers everybody in God's green earth sent me to eat. I've eaten I don't know how many ghost peppers this year. But uh, this is an all-natural ghost pepper. So uh, here we go. I can tell you it smells, it smells a lot better than them other ones. I call them Holy Ghost Peppers because, you know, I'm a Pentecostal Christian and uh, instead of just calling them Ghost Peppers, I call them Holy Ghost Peppers. Sounds better, don't it? And it's got spiritual application because when you get filled with the Holy Ghost, the Bible says that the Holy Ghost comes on you as fire. Holy Ghost and fire. You shall be baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire. The fire burns all the sin and impurities out of you when you get saved. And then, you know, the rest, on and on. But anyway, that's just my two cents. So here we go. It is two minutes. Okay. Mmm. Big pod. This plant right here, I only watered this plant uh, <coughs> like one time a week. Man, it is a scorcher. building heat it's all in my whole mouth my throat and my sinuses and my eyes I'm gonna have to drink some water to wash it down because I got a glob of it caught in my throat Ah, it's crazy hot. It's that. Typical red boot jalokia taste. The burn is in the tongue, the lips, the back of my throat in my esophagus, in my chest, and now it's down in here. My sinuses are running and my eyes are watering like crazy. Nothing helped. Mm. 
Let's see. Oh God, it's getting hotter. I shouldn't eat that early in the morning on an empty stomach too. Uh, I ain't bragging because I grew the plant but that's the hottest ghost pepper I've eaten all year. I gotta spit. Oh. Nothing helps. That water and that ice I'm chewing up, dude, it don't do nothing, bro. All it does is make it worse. But uh, another reason, oh man, oh, another reason I call these things Holy Ghost Peppers is because they're powerful. The Holy Ghost from God gives you power. When you get saved, you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you repent of sin. And then you're born again. And the Bible says you're born of the Spirit. And you become Spirit-filled. That ice ain't helping and the Bible says that whew, man that does not help at all that is a powerful pepper just like the power of God that uh, the Bible says or the Bible teaches you that God gives you power through Jesus Christ and since Jesus Christ himself ain't here on earth, he give us the Holy Ghost, which gives us power to overcome sin and sickness and evilness in this world. And uh, I thank God for that today. I'm saved and I'm going to heaven because Jesus Christ, and uh, I give God all the glory. Because he loves me. And he loves you. And man, this is one hot, powerful pepper. This cracker I'm eating ain't doing nothing. I mean, man, it's still building heat. One hot pepper, man. That thing's at least 1.2, 1.3 million Scovilles. And I ain't saying that because I grew it. I could care less who grew it. But man, that is a hot pepper. That thing is hot, hot. Anybody wants to make your ghost peppers hotter? Don't give them no, no fertilizer or nothing and just get a weaker plant. You won't get as many pods on that plant, but man, the quality is there by far. That's the hottest thing I've ever eat as far as a ghost pepper. And I've eat every ghost pepper from India, Mexico, Canada, from up north, out west, down south. People send me peppers from all over the place, man. I've ordered peppers and bought peppers from everybody. But, uh, I'm Scott Phillips, and this was a Holy Ghost Pepper Pod Review. 
Man, that was a powerful hot pepper. Remember, Jesus saves. God loves you. And He wants you to be spirit-filled. He wants you to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And He wants you to walk with Him. So, uh, until the next video, y'all be good. God bless you. It's not going to get no hotter, so I'm just going to quit crying and slobbering and preaching to you. So, uh, y'all have a good day, man. We'll see you later.